Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you're probably wondering what in the hell are you doing? Why are you using that piece of crap car? Well, you know what? The one thing that struck out of me on this car, it reminds me of my car, the Veloster. If you guys watch my film channel, I used her, her meaning, if you heard the song called Black Betty by Ram Jam or the remix by Superbite, Bait, whatever. It's a pretty freaking badass car, and I've seen a lot of people drive that car out there. So Betty, whom she's down below me because she's at the garage underneath my feet. Hi, Betty. So that's what this car reminds me of. It reminds me of my car. Now, since the Veloster is not in this game, this is literally the closest thing I can find that looks like my car. It's actually a four-cylinder. Well, for some people, it's like, that's stupid. It's the slowest motherfucking car ever. Well, you know what? Okay, it's four cylinders, but even if you threw a turbo in this thing, this thing is pretty freaking fast. Like, it'll take off in a few seconds, man. Seriously. And if you upgrade this thing to, like, circuit mode or whatever, Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a perf upgrade. Screw street upgrade because you know what? It's like you don't need it anymore when you're level freaking 50. That's shame, bruh. You don't need it. Oh, yeah! Anyway, so. Holy shit, this looks badass. Oh, my game. Did my game freeze? Oh no, I didn't. Okay. I'm just using the wrong button because I'm a dumbass. This thing looks freaking badass. Holy crap. Wow. I don't like those wheels, though. It looks stupid. But this looks like a, this looks like a pretty badass car. Damn, dude. I don't like those taillights, though. This thing looks... Let's make this look as close as possible to my car. And we will name this car Black Betty. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Let's start off with, uh, I'm gonna deal with color and stickers and stuff at the wa at the warehouse. So I'm just gonna deal with bumpers and stuff. What do we got? Stock. Stock. I kinda like those headlights. Those look kinda cool, actually. They look like they got, uh, some kind of fencing design on it, you know? It's not any carbon fiber. Either that or it looks like... I can't... I can't it looks like metallic, you know, like those uh, the metal pieces that people use for like uh, construction buildings. It kind of looks like that. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Yeah, nah. Uh, oh god, I'm like really, really? That looks dumb. No offense to people who like that, but that looks stupid. Like, why would you ever? That's too much, man. I just like this because you can see. The turbo in the front of the bumper there. I'll zoom in on that. You see that? That's when you know that the car is going to be pretty freaking sick. I, I don't know. I like this. Wait, what was the stock? Let me see the stock one. Uh, oh, it's got the carbon... The carbon, the carbon fiber headlights. See, let, let's go to that one again for a second. Oh, no, not that one. This one. Uh, yeah, that's just the standard stock lights. You know what? I think I'm just going to go at regular lights. I'm not too crazy about the carbon fiber thing, you know? That's just me. Wait, what the heck? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, whoa. <laughs> there's one freaking exhaust. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so stupid. Why? That's just like a freaking <laughs> sticking out the bottom of the car, man. Give it some, like, boost. There you go. God, it ooh, or the, well, um, they put those stupid little fins on the back. I like the exhaust, but the fins, man, the fins. It's a no-no. You don't do that, it's a no-no. I'll keep that. <laughs> One freaking exhaust is hilarious to me. I don't know why. Uh, oh, God, don't get rid of the carbon fiber. Hell no. You know what? I'm going to slap these guys. I don't, I don't like those little midget mirrors. It's ridiculous, seriously. All right, what kind of wings we got here? Probably not anything too crazy, because I don't think you can fit a big-ass wing on... What? the shit he tit ease is that what the heck how does that work what is the logistics behind that that doesn't make any sense seriously that thing could fly off as soon as you start going down the road that looks like it just hung a crap okay there we go that's it uh, god damn it you know i don't mind that Except it just, it's just so goofy. Like, really? I mean, okay. From the front, like this angle, okay, sure, yeah, that looks cool. When you look at it from the side, it's like... Bruh. What's this one? What was this one again? 
bad. Actually, I like that. Just, it's not, you know, it doesn't look goofy, you know? What was the, what was the sock one? Let me see the sock one. Oh, it's carbon fiber, actually. You know what? I'm gonna keep that. I don't know, I mean, for some of you that's like, why don't you stick a big ass wing on it? It's like, that one wing does not fit this car. I mean, for sedan cars, yeah, but this is just, nah, that's a no-no. Yes, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go with the regular hood this time. Uh, and then the wheels will go back... We'll go back to my house. <laughs> Warehouse! And fix that up. So, and then we'll change the paint and stuff. So, BRB! No! What? Jesus, man. Don't walk in front of my camera like that, bro. Anyway, so, sorry I had to answer a text because somebody was... My, my dad was texting me because uh, we work out today afternoons. Anyway, so you don't need to know that. I don't know why I said that anyway. So, let's give it a nice little paint job. Let's see what we got here. Some reason the black doesn't look good on this. Ooh, the blue does. But it's not blue, Betty. It's black, Betty. What about this one? Matt. Uh, uh, chrome. The chrome looks nice for some reason. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the chrome. You can't. I can't even tell if it's chrome, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, Black Betty don't like flowers, though. That, <laughs> she's a little bit more aggressive than that. Wait, is there stuff in my headlights? I'm sorry, what? There is. What? How come I never noticed that before? That's really cool, actually. Look at that, you even got the blue in there. You see that? Am I just... Am I seeing that? Okay, yeah, it's on the recording. I was just double-checking. And there you go, Black Betty is bone, bitch. Anyway, this is, this is like the burpiest episode I've ever had, seriously. If somebody texted me. Who texted me? I got an email. Go away. I'm in the middle of something, you turd. All right, ready? Oh, my license plate says the crew. I'm sorry, what? Oh, it's probably because I haven't actually put a license plate on. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I wish I had a... I wish you could do custom license plates in this game where you could put your own names on it and stuff. Holy crap, that launch, though. This thing sounds monstrous! Listen to it! Holy macaronis, Batman. This thing is a beast. There's something about these little four-cylinders that people misunder... You know, they misunderstand. They're like, oh, it's not fast. It looks like a piece of shit. It's... Honestly, if you've driven one... And, like, just worked with it for a little bit... Like, I've had mine for about two years now. My little four-cylinder. It's still a pretty freaking badass car. You just don't know it until you actually drive one and like put different things on it and different specs and stuff. It's really cool actually. Like that's the thing that people don't like and that's why they're not really that popular. Because, you know, they, they're they right to judge basically. They, they just, or not right to judge, but they're quick to judge and they just go look at it and go, yeah, that's not cool. That thing looks like a piece of turd. It's really not. The handling of these cars are just beautiful. Whoa, listen to wait a minute. I'm gonna accelerate. That the freaking turbo sound is awesome. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I love this little four-cylinder. I, I was even wrong. I I didn't want to get this car in the game, but you know what? It's pretty badass. I'm gonna be using this thing a lot actually in some of the videos. What if they have a drift specs for this? I don't know. I, I haven't even checked yet. Maybe they do. Maybe if I could probably definitely do a drift spec or any other spec for this car. I know there's a monster truck one. But damn, this thing is just so cool. Oh, where's the cop? Careful, careful, careful. Oh god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> my voice cracked. Uh, I didn't mean to hit that guy. He was just dancing in the freaking street. <laughs> like, he should. First of all, you don't dance in the middle of the street when a guy is driving down a highway at freaking 160 miles an hour, man. Like, seriously. That's the most dumbest thing I've ever seen in this game. Someone just dancing in the street and just like... Pfft, whoops! So, this, I would recommend this car, actually. I mean, if you like little four-cylinders, I mean, I do, because I drive one. They're still pretty badass. Even the turbo out, out here is really cool, too. But if you guys want to give this car, you know, like, give this car a shot, drive it first and see what you think. Like, drive it around the track and drive it around outside that track. And see how you feel. Like, I test drove this before I bought it, and I was like, you know what? This thing reminds me of my car. Because they're both four cylinders. They're both different brands. 
mine's Hyundai and this one's Ford. So, but they're kind of the same car, except mine is a three-door coupe, not a, a two-door coupe. Which is really weird. Nobody thinks that that car is a three-door. Even it surprises all my friends. They're like, oh, this is three doors? Yeah, man. Oh, that's weird, but cool. Give this car a try. I think we should redeem, you know, some of these four-cylinders. I think they should stick the Veloster in, in the DLC in this game. I mean, that's just me, because there's so many different things you can put on that car. Different wheels, different bumpers, and uh, exhausts. There's a whole bunch of things you can do to it, and it's really cool. So, but liking for if you guys enjoyed this video, give this car a try. Like, seriously, you don't have to buy it. Just drive it around on the test track and see what you think. And uh, I'm going to drive around this little guy for a little bit. And I'll see you goons later. That's a wall. Well, that's $4,000 down the drain there, son.